I've, I've always been an outgoing, confident, happy person. It's just the way I am. I always try and see the, the funniest side of things, probably to my friend's annoyance. I'm always looking for the joke in something. I'm always really driven as well. So I was in my final year, I was doing my dissertation, I had three jobs. Uh, I was running a, a night at a nightclub, I was working for Spotify, I was working for the uni. So I had loads going on. Um, I just didn't feel right. I had no idea what it was. I was just kind of waking up. Just, there was just something niggling at me. It never crossed my mind it was mental health. Because like I said, I, I thought it was not me. I'm, I'm not going to suffer because I'm outgoing. But, you know, whenever we went out, I, I was on edge. Drinking, I felt worse. I, I wasn't as excited about things. So that's when I know it started but I, I don't think I thought it was mental health then I think I just thought I had a lot on my place so I just left it I just didn't talk about it I didn't even talk about it to myself for ages um, about 10 months and it was once I graduated uh, it'd been been about 10 months this feeling whatever it was hadn't gone and I had I just got a new girlfriend um, and I probably wasn't treating her as well as I should have um, I wasn't being as open with her and as nice with her. I was probably being quite cold with her. She she kind of said that, um, and that kind of hit me because I'm not a cold person. I'm I'm the least cold person I know. So when she said that, it it, it kind of hit me for six, and I thought I always thought I was going to be a great boyfriend and never be cold. So then I kind of thought I said to her, look, something's going on, and I don't know what it is. So then I started to think, okay, maybe I'm having a problem here. Looking back on it now, I, I can still remember it so well, but it just, I just felt uncomfortable. Like, you know, normally I'd just sit in a lecture and, and just kind of do my work, or I'd be on a night out having fun, talking to people. I just had a real feeling of, like, not dread, but kind of getting there. I just didn't feel like I was there. I'd kind of be in the club, but I wouldn't be comfortable. I'd be kind of really conscious of what I was saying to people, and I'd be kind of anxious about having another drink, and kind of thinking when are we going to go home and in a lecture I'd be my mind would keep wandering from my work and th that's the thing it's, it's so hard I can't put a name on it but it just it's like I wasn't fully present anymore even in my own flat in my room by myself with Netflix on you know just the perfect chill situation I was kind of sat there like not enjoying the program I was watching I just it just I knew it wasn't right so I, I just felt kind of removed from myself um, but again, I, I didn't think it was mental health, I thought, because it, cause, you know, I can't put a name on that so much. Scared, I was so scared, I, I, I didn't want people to think I was weak, I, I just, I was like petrified of how people were gonna, gonna respond to me. Um, I thought I'd be, be shut out, I thought that, just think of me as, you know, pathetic really. And I guess, I didn't want to admit it to myself. I think I think if I, if I kept it internal, then it's not quite as real. It was such a relief telling people in the end. But even then, I, I was worried when I was out. I thought, you know, they're going to think that they have, they have to kind of be careful around me, or they can't say certain things. It's been absolutely amazing for me. Like like I said before, I went through. I was I was always confident and outgoing and happy person. That's always been in my character. Since I've recovered, like that's just on a new level. Um, I've never had confidence like this and I don't get embarrassed by anything like uh, nothing really phases me anymore like so it, it, it's been big for me and it's been for me it's been the best thing in my life it was the worst thing but now it's now it's the best thing next I mean life is not easy it's it's so difficult like you know life work relationships whatever it is it's it's tough and we all want it to be kind of plain sailing but it never is and I think it's really good to be mentally strong enough to deal with what's gonna come at you at some point, you know.